Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 27 and in this video we are going to start looking at something called an array. Now an array is actually a variable that can contain multiple values. So in other words I could store an entire list of people's names or an entire list of any other kind of value as an array. So here is one way to make an array. We'll start off by declaring a new variable. So I'm going to call mine people because we're going to store a bunch of people's names. Okay. And then I'm going to set this equal to array. And we have to use parentheses here. Okay. And this is basically a function that will make an array for us. Okay. And the first value I want to put in here is going to be a string so of course we have to use quotation marks and I'm going to set that equal to Ryan then when we want to start over to our second value then we're going to um, put in a comma okay so basically you separate all your different values of your array with a comma so now let's go ahead and store Sean in the second place and then in the third place we can store Kyle and in the last place we'll store myself Quinton okay so this was basically all my high school friends growing up and then me okay uh, well not all my friends just my best friends okay and now let's try and take a look at how to print one of these values out okay because it's going to be slightly more complicated than you might think. Okay, I can't just go ahead and type in echo people because this is an array. It's an entire list. So the computer is not going to know which value we want to be printed out or which value we're trying to work with. And when you go ahead and do something like this, you're going to get an error. So it says uh, array string conversion blah 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 it just tells us that we have an array but where what you're trying to print out an array okay so instead whenever you want to work with a value in an array you're gonna go ahead and use these square brackets just like that okay and inside these square brackets you are gonna put in the array index of uh, whichever element you are trying to work with so because we're working with a computer here, computers start counting at zero. So in other words, this would be index zero, Ryan would be index zero, Sean would be index one, Kyle would be index two, and Quinton would be index three, okay? So if I go here and I just put in an index of zero, and now save this and click refresh, you can see we have Ryan printed out on the screen. So like I said, because Ryan is uh, an index of zero, if I go back here and I put in an index of two, then remember we're counting zero, one, two. So we now should have Kyle printed out. And there we go, Kyle. So that's actually pretty cool. And I know sometimes we might not always have the entire list of uh, values that we want to store in our array straight away okay so sometimes we might decide well we want to we want to use an array but we just don't know how many values we're going to have or we don't know what the values are going to be then we don't have to make an array this way okay we could just start off uh, by saying people zero Okay, and then we set that equal to, uh, whoops, set that equal to Ryan, and then further down we can go ahead and say people two, or yeah, people one, sorry, and we're going to set that equal to, again, Sean. So in other words, we could probably even use a loop or something like that to assign values, and then later on we could go ahead and still use those values anytime we wanted just like this okay so that's this is basically our second way to make an array as soon as we've just started off a variable with square brackets on the side then 
the computer knows, okay, we're making an array and it goes ahead and it fills that array position in with the value over here. Okay, so now when I go ahead and click refresh, uh, there we go. Uh, we have Sean declared uh, and working already. So those are the two different ways to make an array in PHP. Okay, but let's take a look at modifying an array. So I'm going to go just push undo a few times over here until we have our previous array back. Okay. Uh, what happens if, let's say I've got this this list here, Ryan, Sean, Kyle, Quinton, but instead I wanted to change the first value to Stacy. So let's just say Ryan wasn't my friend anymore or something uh, like that. I wanted to change his name to Stacy. Then I could go ahead and uh, add in a line over here and just modify that. So I can go ahead and say uh, people uh, one, sorry, or people zero, my bad. Okay, people zero equals Stacy. And now when I go ahead and print out people zero, okay, I should get Stacy printed out in the place of where Ryan should have been. Okay, so we started off our array with Ryan in the first place or the zeroth index, but then we change the zeroth index to Stacy, and now we're going to print out the zeroth index. So we should get Stacy printed out. And I have an error, probably because I did not put a semicolon in at the end of my line. Cool. Go back and click refresh. There we go. Stacy. Okay. So that's how to modify an element or an index in the array. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to delete an index. Okay. Uh, so all I have to do is go ahead and type in this function unset and then I just go ahead and put in the index that I want to unset so that let's just say we wanted to unset people zero okay then we've gone ahead and done that okay so now we've started our array off with people zero being Ryan but then we just deleted Ryan from the array completely and now we're trying to echo out an empty value. So we're probably going to get an error. Uh, let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, undefined offset zero. So this basically means there is no value in the zeroth index of our array because we went ahead and we deleted it. Okay, so if you ever want to delete a value from an array, uh, you want to try not to use it again, otherwise, you're going to get an error. Okay, so it's probably best if you're going to change something that's in an array just to modify it rather than to delete it. Okay, and this will still work for the rest of the array. So if I go ahead and I print out the second index, that should be Kyle again, then this should still work. So Kyle still works, it's just that our first index is now empty. Okay. But that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, a like, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.